Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we've survived the great arena black screen of death. Uh, the release day was a little rocky, so we didn't get to stream as much as we wanted to. Um, so, gonna kick it off with some standard fun. Uh, probably spend the weekend playing some more kind of spikier competitive decks. Um, there's a lot of tournaments this weekend, so I want to see what kind of shapes out. Um, but what we have here today is... I wanted to build a deck around my favorite card from the set and the card that I had the most fun with at the early streamer event. That is Scoot Swarm. So Scoot Swarm, 3 mana, 1-1, one, one, whatever. Land comes into play, you create an insect. But when you have 6 or more lands, it creates a copy of Scoot Swarm, which then co creates a copy of Scoot Swarms times 2, then times 4, and exponentially bigger. Um, I've crashed the game at around 300 copies. But uh, the, the goal of this deck is to mutate onto Scoot Swarm because then your copies become a copy of the mutate stack. So you can have, for example, a bunch of auspicious Sterixes copied each turn. So every line creates a 6-6, six, six, uh, which is kind of cool that way. Um, so what we're trying to do with the deck is ramp to 6 mana, play Scoot Swarm, mutate onto it, and then kind of go to town. Uh, we do have a combo kill. Uh, if you can auspicious Sterix into enough things, uh, Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort gives our creatures haste. Uh, so all the tokens that come into play uh, gain haste and you can try to one-shot your opponent. Um, we're building Splinter Twin on hard mode. Um, so the rest of the deck is kind of around the mutate theme. So it's uh, a lot of Ikoria stuff. Uh, using Gilded Goose as early ramp, you could go Goose on one, Migratory Great Horn on two, uh, mutate on top of it, which is nice. Uh, Baby Godzilla, Poliwag Symbiote, uh, cre lowers the cost to mutate, lets you loot as well. Uh, sea Dasher for card advantage, the Rubble Forts as haste. Uh, two Gem Razors main, two side. The Great Horns as ramp. Uh, so we are playing a good number of basics uh, in the deck. Um, and then we have Parcel Beast, where you can mutate on, create copies, and then eventually use it to dig and get card advantage that way as well. A couple Pouncing Shore Sharks, the Auspicious Sterix, which is kind of the engine, and then uh, Iluna, Apex of Wishes, so when you exile cards from the top of your library, uh, exile until you reveal a, a non-line permanent, put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. So pretty much everything in our deck's non-land except... Uh, the lands. Mana base wise we have the Trinomes uh, and then one basic mountain and then I have pathway lands which are pretty much going to be blue and green in our deck but we're going to be able to have the choice if needed. A couple fable passages as well. Uh, sideboard wise so I have the extra red sources for sideboard cards really. Some red cat Malis. Uh, there's a lot of like gruel mono red. Uh, it deals with four color Omnath as well. Um, the dragon the five mana that like shoots things. Um, Thundering Rebuke is just another good uh, damage spell. Uh, I think four damage is quite relevant. Uh, some Negates, some Disputes, some more Gem Razors, and then three Elder Gargaroths. Um, if we can somehow just get like this, throw like a flying on it, and then just go to town. Um, so we'll try it out. I've yet to test this, so let's play a couple games unranked because I'm pretty high on Mythic right now. Yeah. So let's test it out first, and then we can take it to Mythic Ladder for actually winning. Um, so this weekend, if you do want to see any decks in particular, you have any cool brews, do feel free to share them on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, or even Twitter. You could uh, ping me in them. We'll be testing out a bunch of decks. I'm still refining Rogues. Um, that's kind of my go-to competitive deck right now. Um, so if you do have any success, you want to chat Rogues, do let me know. Uh, this is a keep. Hope they don't kill our goose on one. These lines are actually been pretty good. Like the turn you play them, like this hand, normally we wouldn't keep it, but with the green, it lets us go great horn. That lets us get another forest, probably. Uh, not going to be pleased if this is Teamer. If it's Gruel, then it's fine. But uh, Teamer having 
Let's get another green source here. Teamer or like Simic, just a Brazen Borrower, all our stuff is going to feel bad. Yeah, so they're at least red. So it could be Gruel. You're six. So I can get Scoot Mob going. Or I can draw some cards. I think I'd rather draw cards here. Uh, under. Let's go get another island. In case I draw like a tap land. Perfect. So next turn I could start making copies of the scoot. Actually, we can Sterix next turn as well. Maybe we just Sterix. Try to hit into the scoots themselves. So we do need to be watch out for Cleave. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards, where X is the number of times that creature is mutated. So let's go mutate here, over, just get another forest. Okay, well, we're going to scoot mob next turn. Oh, yeah. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I can scoot mob, put auspicious Sterix on top of it, and then get copies of it. This is pretty free blocks for the most part. Oh, nope. You block here, you block here. One, two, three. Um, probably get more things. Because this is mutated more times, but this is more fun. No, it probably makes more sense. So I'm going to do this because then I want to play the land. Now we get multiple copies here. Multiple copies here. Sick. Opponent didn't want any more. Uh, Gruel. So these Thundering Rebukes. Red Cap seems decent. And Gargaroths. Gets rid of the Shore Sharks. Probably. Trim a Sea Dasher. From a tuck tuck on the play. Do I want all this top end is the question. Trim a scoot swarm. We'll probably have more removal. Probably Guy Ruta. Or Luna. Because like I'd rather have Gargaroth in these spots and then we're bringing in um, like other spells. Uh, you're still big, plus you hit Ember Cleave that you can trade. Okay, let's do it like that. 
Well, the deck did exactly what we wanted to that game. We would have had three lands and then Fabled Passage to go off even more. We really want an untapped land, an untapped forest. So we have to decide between Baby Godzilla or the Goose. No plays. So they likely have a shock. Can have dragon fire. I think we just do this. Okay, so would have been better with baby Godzilla there. Next turn I can play out both of these though. That is notable. Okay, well, double bone crusher getting in. They'll probably play out a bone crusher here. Opponent's literally on mono removal. Now we need a land, one time land. Mm. I'm just going to gain three life. I'd rather use this for something bigger. Wall. Yeah, missing our line drop here. Them having just a ton of removal. It's been pretty bad. Probably going to get cleaved here. Okay, no cleave is good. Gonna flash in the C Dasher. Pretty dead here though. Yeah. If we kept any of those early creatures, we would have been okay, but just never hit them. Uh, Rebel Fort. Decent blocker. So we know they, they brought in those as well. I think we run it back. We might have used all our luck game one. That game as well though, if we had a untapped line on one, then we would have been able to get around a little bit more. Okay. Keep this. I'm gonna hold off on deciding on this because I might want a red cap Molly. Can you stop opponent? That'd be really great, like between you and me. I'd be a huge fan if you could. So I played this out because I'm gonna want red cap. I'm hoping to dodge a burn spell here. Damn it, man. getting like really unlucky with these lands playing 24 also I should tweak this oh, no but the spell lands you can't hit on the effect though
So I can play Sterix. I think mana wise, let's just do this. It opens me up to removal. This being sorcery, but they're more likely to have two points. Tell me they have another one. Note they don't have a second green yet for questing beast. Post board, we're seeing a lot more removal out of our opponent. Kazandu Valley. Opponent still got a full grip. So we played well around that. Just pass the turn here. Got to try to get the Sterix going. But I am going to take eight here. Probably dead. Missed the land there. This is Croaky's Gruel list. He's playing it a lot today on stream. So holding the land in case I get Scoot Swarm. throwaways at this point hopefully dodge cleave if they have cleave we're dead regardless Cleveland all right we used all our luck in game one. Let's fire it up, do another one. Turns out when your opponent interacts with you, yeah, probably don't. Got it. Maybe we do stone coil in here. The thing is I don't like hitting stone coil off the mutate flips because they just dies. We might also want some more cheaper things to mutate, so I'll take a look at it after this game. If we find again that we don't have enough early mutate targets, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Okay, this hand's much better. Put this guy back. Um, I think we just set up this turn. Next turn I'll have access to 5 mana. Ooh, opponents on the same idea. Flash mutate here. Mm. 
Hope to draw land. Either way, we were hoping to draw land. This just lets us play more to the board. It makes our cheaper ones be able to loot. Wouldn't mind migratory great horn. Really just want land. Throw a land on this. Elysian carry added. Might be something to add as well. So the reason we're not playing a lot of these uh, like featured lands is um, because you don't get to flip them. Discard Aegisaur over Drop card. Where's my scoot swarms at? Where are my scoot swarms at? Okay, well they're ramping mana wise. They look to just be straight Simic. So the Simic version sometimes does play Ugin, so something to be mindful of. I can't mutate you yet. You don't have vigilance. Hoping to hit a land here. Ooh, that's actually really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doing this now in case I hit a land. Waiting on this in case I hit a scoot swarm. Um, let's spin this. So there's still potential we get Ugand. Okay, we hit Scoot Swarm. I'm gonna pass the turn now. Because I can look for a land, I can make a food. Questing Beast. Questing Beast is not Ugin. Make more Scoot Swarms. All right. Um, opponent's deck. We probably don't need Agisaurs, the Rebute, these are good. Um, they may be going up to Ugin. We trim down a couple of these. Shore Shark seems good. I think similarly, just Gargaroth being bigger here in the Creature Mirrors is better. I really don't know if we need a Luna. Auspicious Sterix I'd rather have like pretty much every time. I might just cut it to play cheaper things. Saves you a Mythic as well. Oh, this is the hand I want. Don't interact with me. Thank you for not interacting with me. Get the island. Let's go get Another island. I'm 
I'm gonna see if we can hit a land here. Feels like better value. Because if I can get Gargaroth going next turn, I'm going to be pretty happy. So they have access to two mana. Oh, so of note, it only lets you do the one side. That's face up. Good to know. Uh, so I can't Sterix this turn. I can scoot mob or I can just get Gargaroth going. I think we just get... But I kind of want to guarantee I'm hitting a land. Oh, I can do both. So play this out. Mutate here, go under, get a red source. Now we just try to dodge Hugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. So. I think what we do. One, two, three. Great horn here over so now I get migratory great horn copies play this out with haste then smack in for nine here Next turn, I Sterix on top of it, and then I get six sixes. We say, and then our opponent drops Ugin. Can you build a bigger board than me? They always have it. One good thing is this Gargaroth might just get us there. See if they also... That was a great top deck. Gargaroth. Ah, uh, it doesn't even matter. Which way do you want your 6-6 six, six, do everything? Yo, that was pretty sweet. I would like to draw a card. Would you like to let me draw a card? Thank you, friend. You got another Ugin? Cool carry added. Can I go again? I'm having fun. How about you, opponent? Cool. 
kill you? You have another mutate. This has trample. This has trample. Alrighty. Redeemed it. We're still a little loose. I always, like, it makes sense because you could generate a lot of mana. I just always found it weird that this deck plays Ugin because then it wipes everything you've established from, like, a mutate pile. Hey, Vanya, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Blank some scoot swarm mutate, some scutate. One and one. Um, lost to Crokey's uh, gruel list. Playing a build your own splinter twin combo. Some assembly required. This hand is not good. Nice. Do you want to share the list? I can take a look at it. Let's put back Tuk Tuk. We are not at a Tuk Tuk level yet. Okay, so this is the Archfiend deck. Um. You can try dropping the link in now. I took off um, I took off the uh, stupid bot things. It was on like extreme censorship mode. So next turn I can get Scoot Swarm going. Quite a slow start here. Wind Robber, Mill, Seagate. I only have two Cacophonies right now. So I'd like to get a Sea Dasher on this Scoot Swarm. Looks pretty cool otherwise. Thieves Guild helps out. You have like a kind of mini rogue package. I saw someone playing against Crokey's like an Is It version with all the draw discards. That one looked pretty sweet as well. Opponent needs to stop with these acquisition experts. Literally just tore apart our hand. How do you have three of these in your opener? So we'll just make food tokens. Opponent's not really pressuring us. Two lands away from getting this going. Okay, opponent's had enough. Uh, so this is an easy bring in removal, bring in Gargaroth, get rid of Aegisaur. Probably have a lot of removal. Pouncing Shore Shark doesn't seem that great. Oh, I forgot to get rid of Gairuda. We gotta get rid of this next turn, or next game. It's... Oh no, I, j I don't have Cacophony. I only have two Cacophonies. Like, uh, I got another 50 packs, and I don't have... Uh... Didn't get them. I just spent my last four wild cards. I, ha I have... Um... I built four color Omnath. And then uh, I basically spent it on the lands. Ah, so they're missing red. 
usually when like a new dual land cycle comes out, I'll craft all the lands first. Just it's easier for me to play decks when I have all the lands. So I just did all these pathways. So it was like eight rare, rare wild cards today. I did the Demir ones yesterday. Um, you can take my mountain. How about that, friend? Get a second island. The one thing, because now I can't fetch up a mountain, we only play the one. So if we draw some of our burn removal, but really we only have three of them. And I think we just shuffled one. Croxa. Croxa can get rid of you. I don't need you, Goose. You've done your job. Discard that. Put you under. So just, just some wholesome ramp here. This is like a, a Rakdos kind of discardy style. Probably has some uh, Call of Death Dwellers in it, I would imagine. Bolts themselves. What do we got here? Blood Chief's Thirst. Get rid of that. Did that now, just in case we drew something worthwhile. Gone through 10 lines already. This could just be like a bolt or something, like a bone crusher. All right. Well, this is making our... One, two, three... I can tell you I've become really good at drawing lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Baby Godzilla is not what we're looking for. I'm gonna hold it here just in case we get like a uh, Attack sound. It seems like they have Bone Crusher. Can you can you stop opponent? Can can you stop? Because this is just getting closer to Croxa. I would like a Gargaroth. Can I have a Gargaroth between you and me, opponent? Let's get scooting. We're basically out of lands at this point. Or out of basics. I have 11 lands left, so even now these scoot mobs aren't going to be that great. I want to keep these alive one more turn. Let's go. Um, so we have our land. 
I'll just throw us in the way of something. Can't block this anyways. They might block here just to get Croxa. If we win this game, it's going to be kind of cool considering we didn't really draw anything of value. I just play Croxa here. I would like an auspicious Sterix. Don't do it, opponent. Don't you kill it. Don't you kill it. I said don't you kill it. Are you kidding me? Literally any other spell in our deck would have been great. They had exactly enough to shatter skull for six times two. Let's go. Auspicious Sterics, make a copy. Beauty. Let's go. Let's go. Combo time. Over. Give me a land. You have to block both. So they don't have enough for another Crocs. Uh... Let's go. Under. Like, I can try with Parcel Beast to make something, but I was hoping to get more out of it. We just have, like, so few lines at this point. Well, they're technically not dead. Unless we can... Let me do it, opponent. Let me do it. Yeah. Let me do it. This deck's awesome. Uh, let me cut the Alunas, put something else cheap in here. Um... Merfolk wizard. So let's see creatures. Creature. Three CMC. So you have flying. You mill. Don't think I necessarily want that. You're just an O5. You're just another cheap flyer. I might want it to be green just because I'm more likely to have green on one. Not going to have red that often on one. Hey, Chu. Um, what's your, your preferred play style? Uh, I don't necessarily like just to blindly recommend decks just in case it's not like something that the person would like to play. 
Uh, there's shitty jungle delver. Oh, there's the um, there's the colorless mutate thing. Here we go. Throw some cocoons in there. Do I still want the one mountain? Probably. I'm gonna cut the gem razor in the side as well. And I think we go. Probably just a shock. Okay, let's tweak it like this. Let's do this, and then let's play two shock. Because I felt like we've wanted cheap removal. Snowball things. You really like Golgari. So there hasn't been anything that's really kind of popped out just yet. I'd likely suggest waiting till at least tomorrow. Um, the Hooglandia open is going to be um, standard tomorrow. So he usually has a good turnout. Um, so it'll be a big standard tournament. You can see what's played. Um, from the PAX tournament today, it was like four color Omnath. Um, like Life Lost, the, there's the Clerics deck I played. I don't know if it'll be tier one, but it did have like a lot of Life Lost, Life gain type effects um that one there or mono black devotion i played that as well um that one had used like a gray merchant of asphodel here i'll link you to in chat so like i i would suggest waiting till at least saturday like late afternoon you can see all the deck lists on mtg melee um, but this is the clerics list and the videos are like embedded here too. If you want to see, I'd probably play some most riders in the cleric deck. Uh, no blue. I think this is a mulligan. So, one sec, let me get the other one. This has a lot of old cards, too. Yeah, yeah, all my deck lists are on Aether Hub. It was only day one that I didn't have a lot of the, the decks up um, on, like, Stream Decker. If there's anything you need, why are you, why are you hanging around there? What happened? Um, these are just like best of one decks because of the early streamer. If you need help um, with a sideboard or anything, just ping me on like Twitter or something. Okay, they're on mono green, the stomps. Oh no. Opponent. Okay, well. I'm just going to concede here because we're too far behind. Let's bring in Shocks, Rebukes, Aegisaur, Gargaroths, get rid of the Shore Sharks. Cut one baby Godzilla. Cut a couple sea dashers, one tuck tuck. Curse pretty high. Let's do it like that. I don't know. I haven't given much thought to like these sideboarding games with this deck. I just want to play Scoot Swarm. This deck's probably a lot better in Historic just for Llanowar Elves so over Gilded Goose. I actually have to let's see. I wanted to put together uh, Historic Rogues as well. 
This is keep. So we're gonna go goose on one. Play this out two unless I draw. It's actually pretty good. Let's me play another goose. We'll run this one more and then I'll uh, try out historic rogues. Just put together a list. Actually, I gotta tweak my standard one too. It's gonna be a no to blocks. Over. Oh no, I wanted that as a forced. I really have my mountain. So just try to hit a land here. Let me wait till they pass their attack step. Do you have a land? You're not a land. You too are not a land. Um, kind of want to hit a land. Start making that kind of big. Okay. The great Henje. I'm going to kill it this turn. Going to fight me? Don't fight me, bro. Don't fight me, bro. Ram through. Not cool. Okay, so we hit our land. That means I can go Sterix next turn. Get rid of the henge. So if they don't kill anything, then I have the henge. Don't kill it. They have a kill spell. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Just attack. Just attack. Everything will be fine if you attack opponent. Everything will be fine. Don't do it. Stop. Missed lines too many times this game. Yeah, they got QB. If I rip a land off the top, maybe have a chance. Like I'm taking nine here. Shock. Shock is something. Shock, maybe. Go to attacks. Shock this. They hit me for four. Land one time. Land one time. Probably still dead anyways, but... So I have to eat both my foods. 
So I have to eat both my foods to stay alive or block with... Yeah, so I have to block... All right. Just block the insect here. That seems wrong. They should have done it on this. It would have got trampled. Oh, Stone Coil can attack now. GG's. G to the G. Let's do one more best of one. Little fragile to like removal. We want to snowball, so if your opponent interacts with you. That game against Stompy, we just weren't quick enough. We might want to get rid of these Ketria Trinomes, to be honest. Opponent goes first, we're on the mall. We drew our basic mountain. Don't kill me. Mono Black Devotion. Over top. Let's get a land. And then let's get Scoot Swarm going. Mm, Sterix is pretty solid. Yeah, so you have Scoot. Ideally, you auspicious Sterix, get a bunch of counters, put a bunch of lands into play. Scoot Swarm triggers multiple copies. Tuck Tuck gives everything haste. And then you have like Splinter Twin. Um, so here I can make a token and then that sets me up next turn to go Sterix. I think I like that. Because I'd rather do this with five, uh, six mana so to at least get a copy of it. Ah. That's the problem with best of one sometimes. Your opponent's just going to concede. Okay, let's try this again. We popped off a couple times. Um, it's not as consistent. So you can get, when you mutate onto Scoot Mob, it becomes a copy of whatever you mutate onto it. So it gets the whole stack. So we had a chance, like we played a game where everything that came, every line that came into play created auspicious sterics. Um, so you can get bigger things, but it's not as consistent as I find like the sand's a trap. Okay, sand's better. Get rid of rubble, rubble. Um, when I played on like the early streamer event, just going like dedicated was better. Okay, flashy could be rogues, could be counters. Our deck is not good. Get the rogues. Okay, we can, um, I promise you, deck, we can stop drawing lines. promise you, between you and me deck, we can stop drawing them. Confounding Conundrum. That's the blue land hate one. If Ivanian's in chat, he has a mono blue mill deck that uh, I think still plays it. You use um, 
field of ruin to try to get your opponent. Well, we were literally just drawing baby Godzillas. Alright, so opponent definitely has counter spells up. That was my deck. I played too many decks that day. They all kind of blend together at this point. Okay, so... Let's do you. You become a 3-3 three, three to let me trade with that. It's probably worth it. Cleansing Wildfire. I don't know what that does. Cleansing Wildfire. Oh, the destroy land card. Yeah, that can be kind of sweet. So mutate here. We are literally drawing nothing but lands. Over, gets a counter. Oh, you don't have flying. Oh, we're just dead. Okay, so this game of just drawing baby Godzillas is not gonna 